Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're back after six years with a crochet tutorial. Our last crochet tutorial was on November 2014, and this time we're not making a Barbie doll dress, we're making a bucket hat, which is made of granny squares and it's super easy to follow, so make sure to watch the whole video and let us know what you think in the comments down below. I actually have just made one of those bucket hats for one of my customers on my Instagram page. It's a little different since it has this daisy with a smile on it, but it's made with granny squares, so it's the same pattern. Things you'll need for this project are a yarn, a 4mm crochet hook, a yarn needle, and scissors. The first thing you have to do is make a slip knot and take your hook and put it inside the loop you just made. Now, chain six, three, four, five, and six. And in the first stitch you made, so this one, place the hook and make a slip stitch. Chain three. Now we have a ring and a chain three. This chain three is going to count as our first double crochet. Make two more double crochets inside of the ring. So one and two. Chain two and make three more double crochets inside of the ring. As you can see, I always cover the tail because you need it for your project to be more secure and you need it to make your ring smaller or bigger in the end. That's two and that's three. Chain two again and make three double crochets inside of the ring. One, two, Chain two again and make three double crochets inside of the ring. Chain two one last time for this row. And you see those first three stitches that we made? Make a slip stitch in the third one. Our first row is completed. Chain three, skip these three double crochets, move on to the next space and make three double crochets inside of it. So that's one, two, and three. Chain two and make three double crochets inside of the same space. One, that's two, and three. Now get to the next space and make three double crochets. Two and three. Chain two and make three more double crochets inside of the same space. Get to the next space, make three double crochets. Chain two and make three more. Get to the next space, make three double crochets. Chain two, and this time since it's our last one, we're going to only make two double crochets and then slip stitch in the third chain from the beginning which will count as our last double crochet. Now we're done with the second row. Chain three. Make two double crochets inside of this first space.
get to the corner, make three double crochets. Chain two and make three more. Now we have our next space, which is not a corner, so we're only going to make three double crochets in it. Now we have a corner, so we will make three double crochets, chain two, and make another three double crochets in the same space. Continue this row like that. When you get to your last space or last corner, make three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then we will have to slip stitch on the third chain from the beginning. Chain three to start the next row. Skip these first three double crochets and get to the next space in which you will have to make three double crochets. Get to the corner and make three double crochets. That's two and three. Chain two and make three more. One, two and three. Now we have a space, which means we'll only have to double crochet three times. In the next space, make three double crochets. And in the corner, make three double crochets. Chain two and make three more in the same space. Two and three. Continue this row like that. When you get to the last space, make two double crochets inside of it. One and two. And the third double crochet is going to be our first three chains. So slip stitch in the third chain from the beginning and you're done with this row. Chain three and now we're at our last row. Make two double crochets inside of the first space. In the next space make three double crochets. That's two and three. In the corner, make three double crochets, chain two, and make three more in the same space. Then we have a regular space, which means we'll have to double crochet three times. Then we have a regular space as well. Make three double crochets. In the next one, make three double crochets as well. Two and three. And now we have a corner in which we will have to make three double crochets, chain two, and then tr three double crochets again. Continue this row like this and I'll meet you at the end. In your last space, make three double crochets and then slip stitch in the third chain from the beginning. Chain one and cut the yarn. Leave enough yarn so you can weave in the ends. And that's our first granny square. You will need to make five of those identical granny squares. So here I have mine. One, two, three, four, and five. 
and you will have to connect them together and we're gonna do that by single crocheting okay so this is the right side and this is the wrong side the same for the other one this is the right side and this is the wrong side the wrong side is where the tail is at place them in front of each other their right sides are on the inside so they're facing on their right sides take the hook take the yarn pull through this is how I attach my yarn every single time so it's more secure so tie it this is the corner and now you're gonna have to chain one in the corner make a single crochet in the same corner and now you see we have chains on this side and on this side and we're going to go through chains of both sides and make single crochets all along so this is the first one the first one on the other side make a single crochet this is the second one the second one on the other side make a single crochet this is the third one third one on the other side make a single crochet continue like that until the next corner so until here now I'm at the corner so make a single crochet right in the corner chain one and then cut the yarn always leave enough yarn so you can weave in the ends. Now we have the first two pieces together and we're going to connect the third one. So again, right side facing each other. Take the yarn. Tie it. Take the hook, chain one, make a single crochet in the same corner, and then continue single crocheting all along. This is our first, second, third, and so on. Now I've attached four pieces. And you're gonna have to connect the first one and the last one together but don't do it on this side don't forget to turn around and connect it on this side so connect it in the exact same way as we did until now take the yarn attach it and single crochet until the end then I'm gonna tell you what to do with the fifth granny square now that I've attached the four granny squares, uh, I have to mention to not cut up the yarn in the end because you're going to need it to attach the fifth granny square. Now the fifth granny square, this is the right side, turn it upside down so the right side is going to face downwards. Take the corner of the granny square you just worked on and the corner of the of the fifth granny square and make a slip stitch chain one and make a single crochet in the same space then go ahead and make a single crochet in each of these stitches but the corners now that you've done that you might wonder what to do with the next corner since you've already attached the corner of the fifth granny square. Well, you'll have to attach it again to the next granny square. So make a single crochet in that and continue single crocheting until the end.
I've reached my next corner, which means I will have to attach it twice, once with this granny square and once with the next one. Continue single crocheting until the end. I've attached four sides of the fifth granny square and now I'm just going to slip stitch on the first stitch of single crochet then chain one and cut off the yarn. Turn the hat the other way around And now we will have to work on this side. If you want to make the hat for an adult person, you will have to make one more row of each granny square. And remember, the hook size is very important since uh, with a smaller hook, the granny squares become smaller and so you have to make more rows for the same size. Now attach the yarn on just any stitch I'm going to attach it here tie it put the hook in the same stitch that you just tied chain one make one single crochet in that same stitch and continue single crocheting all around the hat. Don't make the stitches too loose but don't make them too tight either. After you've done that, slip stitch on the first single crochet you made chain two and make two half double crochets in each stitch so this is one two in the same stitch three four five six seven eight and so on so this first chain two doesn't count as a half double when you finish this row slip stitch on the second stitch from the beginning and chain two again this time you're gonna half double crochet once in each stitch so this is one the next stitch two three, four, and so on. Continue this row like that. When you've finished that row and you've slip stitch on the second hook from the beginning, now chain one and single crochet in each stitch. This is going to be your last row. That's why it's single crochet. Continue the row like that. For the last time, slip stitch on the first single crochet, chain one, and cut off the yarn. Now your hat is basically done, but what you have to do is take your yarn needle and weave in every end. This is the final result. I made two of these hats, one for my sister and one for my brother in their preferred colors and they love them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and also follow my Instagram crochet page. Stay tuned for our next crochet tutorial because it's either gonna be a skirt with ruffles which I have posted on my Instagram page or something Halloween related. Bye!